Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Living Library, where we come to learn from God's living and active word. In just a little bit, you all are going to learn an amazing and true Bible story. But before we get to that, I was wondering, do you want to play a game with me? You do? Great. I am thinking of a story that's make-believe. Let's just pretend. If I give you three clues, can you guess what make-believe story I'm thinking of? Let's find out. This story has a wall in it. Hmm. This story has the king's horses in it. And this story has someone who gets hurt in it. Oh. Do you know what make-believe story I'm thinking of? Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> That's right, it's Humpty Dumpty. Great guessing, friends. Now that you've guessed my make-believe story, let's get ready to hear one that is true. Turn on those listening ears and get out your quiet library voices. Shh. Let's hear our Bible story for today. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Living Library, where we come to learn from God's Word. My name is Miss Kristen, and I am so glad that you are here today. Me too. Friends, my name is Miss Elizabeth, and I have another part of the Christmas story to share with you today. <gasps> really? Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, why don't we wake up BookBot and see what our word of the day is? Can you all say, what's the word, BookBot? What's the word, BookBot? Hello, friends. It sounds like you are ready to learn. Today's word is frankincense. Frankincense is something that smells beautiful like a perfume. You can learn about frankincense in the book of Matthew. Check out the book of Isaiah as well. Goodbye. Wow, that sounds very interesting. Thanks, BookBot. You know, I think I have a picture of some frankincense right here. But I'm not really sure what that has to do with the Christmas story. I think it's time to look in God's true word. Friends, where do we find God's word? The Bible. That's right. Friends, which, which book is the very best? The Bible, the Bible. I said, which book is the very best? The Bible, the Bible. <laughs> You've got it, friends. The Bible, God's true word to us, is the very best book. Let's jump in. Oh, much better. Okay, friends. BookBot gave us two books of the Bible to look in this week. So let's start with the Old Testament, the part of the Bible that was written before Jesus was born. Do you remember where BookBot said to look? Isaiah. Ah, that's right, Isaiah. Let's read what it says. Nations will come to your light. Kings will come to the brightness of your new day. They will carry gold and incense, and people will shout praises to me. Um, what? <laughs> That is confusing, isn't it? This verse is telling us that God sent Jesus for people from all over the world. It says that the nations will come to his light, meaning people from all over the world will come to see him. Jesus didn't just come to rescue some people. He came for people of the whole world. Hello there, friends. How's it going? Hey, Franklin, oh, we haven't seen you in such a long time. Have you come to listen to our Bible story? Yep, I have been traveling all over the building, seeing so many beautiful sights. Oh, what do you mean you've been traveling for weeks in the building? It's not that big. <laughs> well, we turtles are not very fast. It takes me a long time to get around. Well, then, Franklin, you have come at a great time because we are hearing a Bible story today that talks about traveling a long way, too. We just learned that long before Jesus was born, God told Isaiah that people from other nations would travel to see Jesus. But, um, are we still learning about the Christmas story? Well, we sure are. Friends, now we need to look at the New Testament. And that's the part of the Bible that was written after Jesus was born. Do you remember the other book BookBot said to look in? Matthew. That's right. And the book of Matthew starts off with the Christmas story too. It tells us that about two years after Jesus was born, wise men from the East came to the city of Jerusalem, asking where they can find the King of God's people, Jesus, who had been born. 
Wise men? What are wise men? Well, back then, wise men were men that were very smart and knew many things. They studied the stars and understood scriptures and were considered some of the wisest among their people. That's cool. So how did they know that Jesus had been born? Well, these wise men all saw the star in the sky and knew that Jesus had been born. So they traveled from their countries and they went to find Jesus. These wise men weren't from the land where most of God's people came from. They came from all over to see Jesus. Just like God told Isaiah, nations will come to your light. Wow, that is amazing. God really is in control. He sure is. And it doesn't stop there. The Bible tells us that when they saw Jesus and his mother Mary, they fell down and worshiped Jesus. Then they opened their treasures and gave him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Hey, oh, there it is again. Just like God said, the wise men brought him presents with gifts like frankincense and golden incense. That's right. The wise men brought Jesus these gifts because God gave the greatest gift in the world, Jesus. Friends, God is in control. He's in control of the big things and the little things, like the kinds of gifts that Jesus got from the wise men. Isn't that amazing? Okay, hey Franklin, before you go away, can you tell us what you learned today? I learned that Jesus came for the people of the whole world, and the wise men brought him gifts, just like God said they would. Thanks, Franklin. We will see you next time. Hey, Kristen, before we try our verse and pray, can you tell me what you learned today? Of course. I learned just how amazing God is. He is in control of everything, even the gifts that were brought to Jesus. Friends, even though Jesus was born a long, long time ago, even before that, God told us all these amazing details about how he would be born. And we saw today that they came true. It's just like our memory verse says, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said. That comes from Matthew 1, 22. Great job, friends. All right, friends, let's do our special poem and pray together now. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for the story you gave us today. We know that we can trust in you because you are in control. You are in charge of the big things and of the little things. Amen. Friends, now it's time to sing and dance.
Hello again, everyone. Let's take a moment to remember what we learned. Today, we learned about the Magi, or wise men, who traveled from far away to meet Jesus. They followed the special star that God had put in the sky and came to worship Him and give Him gifts, just like God said they would. Friends, God is in control. I hope you guys can remember that all week long. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let us know by telling your parents to hit the thumbs up. And to never miss an upload, click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you never miss another video of ours. Well, well bye see friends. You guys.